right, today I'm going to show you how to use Fold Over Elastic. And Fold Over Elastic is very handy because um, it helps you to finish off knits. If you used, say, a um, cotton bias tape with a knit, it would look kind of weird. I mean, maybe not, but it might. <laughs> it probably would, but maybe not. Um, so this is good for knits. It's also good if you want to um, make something fast because you don't have to do any hemming or finishing. You just fold this over like bias tape and stretch it and um, and stitch down, down the um, tape. So I'll show you how to do that um, and I just want you to get a look at the, at the um, tape here, the fold over elastic. It's a uh, has a little ditch down the center. That's how you can tell that it's folds over elastic. It's stretchy, obviously. Um, and you can't tell because I've dyed this one. Oh, you can tell. Um, one side is shiny. Um, and most people, when they're making like a dance wear, or some people just like shiny things, they will um, fold it over like this when they're sewing and use the shiny side. But you don't have to use the shiny side if you don't like to. It's a little gaudy. I don't really like shiny either. So I am going to use the matte side. Um, and then uh, fold, o fold it over like this. And uh, we'll get started. I just wanted to show you um, that fold over elastic can be used to make a very quick skirt. Um, <clears throat> I made this uh, piece right here in about five minutes. Um, all I did was cut a square piece or a rectangle piece of fabric about 20 inches long <clears throat> and I blind stitched the bottom to make a hem and now all I'm going to do um, in the tutorial is attach the um, fold over elastic to the top and instantly I'll have a new skirt. So it's very handy for making things fast. Um, all right. All right, I definitely need two hands for this project. So I made a little makeshift tripod there. We'll see how it works. OK, what you want to do is place your fabric in between your fold over elastic. Just sandwich it in there, catching any. I like to get rid of these. So put it, sandwich it in between, just like a bias tape. And then set your machine to... I'm setting mine to five, and five is best because it does three stitches for every peak, and that way it's definitely going to catch the fabric that you have sandwiched in between the fold over elastic. Um, the, on, the trick to fold over elastic is not to let this come outside of the fold over elastic like this. It has to be sandwiched in between. And that can be trickier than you may think um, because you have to pull this at the same time. Okay, so let's start this again. You're going to sandwich it in between the elastic and you're going to pull the elastic. Now, how much you pull it is up to you. I like to pull it as tight as I possibly can. So, set this. Sandwich it in between. Put this down. Okay, another trick that you might want to do is hold the back of it because you want it to, you're going to be pulling this at the same time um, and it's going to want to pull the fabric forward and you're going to want to hold it back so it doesn't go forward. Just continue stitching down and then when you get to the end of where you're pulling, stop, pull it again, fold over, hold it down here and hold it back here and stitch. thread. <laughs> okay. Okay, now 
Make sure your needle is in the fabric when you're when you stop to pull it, um, because it might just pull out of underneath the foot if you don't. Almost done. And as you can see, it's gathering here. You can see the V's I made more clearly now that I started with black thread instead. Now if you're working with a knit material, don't pull the knit, just pull the elastic. Um, you don't want the knit to be um, um, pulled taut, unless maybe that's the look you're going for. Alright, I'm going to finish this up and then come back. Alright, we're done. And as you can see, um, the zigzag stitch came out nice. And what you want to do after you're done is check to see if um, the skirt or whatever piece you're using um, is sticking, it, it came out of the um, fold over elastic anywhere because you don't want that. Um, and that's it. Now you have a finished skirt or whatever you were making. Um, I hope that helped. It's a pretty easy uh, thing to do. And uh, that's it. <laughs> All right. Bye.